Hey guys, and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. Ah, man, it is so nice to be done with all of the field work for the year. And even though things obviously didn't go as planned, at least we got it done. And off the field and nothing got rained on. So definitely, bye, bye. definitely count the blessings. It has been full on schooling the youngster out here. Just kind of taking things at a different pace. So it is definitely different having him home 24-7 now. But I think we've kind of acclimated to I it. Again. Now we are getting into winter cleanup. Uh, the baler will go in the barn, just not today, because we still have other stuff in the barn that has to get moved. We don't, unfortunately, have room for all of our equipment in the barn. We just don't. Someday down the road, we might have enough extra finances to build another barn but again we run a debt free debt free farm so taking out another 30 grand loan for a pole barn not really in the works just yet is it stuck in there yes wow oh there it goes probably shouldn't have your boots on so you don't ruin your new shoes since uh we can't exactly buy you more <laughs> You know, because the stores are out of shoes. <laughs> stores are out of everything. Out of, out of everything. Yeah. All right. So the baler, I gotta finish going through. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the chains just yet. I was gonna try and grease them up, but I think I'll wait till we get it into the barn, and that'll be the perfect time to do it. Over there, you gotta blow the baler, all the nodder stuff out. Oh, look at all the stuff right there. And over there. All of it, get it all of it. Yeah, see? <laughs> now you know why I gave you that. Uh, one of the things that I'm really trying to push myself to do this year that I just haven't done because I felt like I was being, I don't know, selfish. Oops, sorry. Being selfish to do it, and that's training my horses. Because I can't ride them because one isn't broke out, which means it's not trained at all to ride. And the other one needs to be re-broke out because he wasn't, he wasn't trained correctly. He had a lot of issues. Ah! this just dripped poop water on my hand. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so yeah, so that's going to take a lot of work and I have to go through today and actually clear out the arena because it's not usable. Yeah, I spent all this time and effort clearing this stupid thing out only to have it regrow full of weeds and later find out that they actually make a weed killer that's designed to last for like six months. <sighs> Had I known, right? <laughs>
Alright, I this is on my phone, so it will be backwards. Just giving you a heads up, because I know a lot of you guys get really confused by that sometimes. <sighs> so, I am trying to pick out a spot for my office, and I'm kind of going back and forth. Because the one thing that I was really looking forward to more than anything was getting my office put in. Because you can't work at a kitchen table. So, I will give you a secret. Eric had uh, told me that I should put my office on top of that storage unit right there. See, the secret um, that I was going to reveal to you later was that Eric planned to build an entire platform on the top of that so he could race RC cars and my son, because right down there is his RC car track. And on top of that platform, he planned to put my office. He made me come up there one night at sunset and it was gorgeous I mean, you could see the entire property here's some pictures i took just the other day of what the view would have been like had my office already been put up there here you go so i'd been Excited all summer to get my office put in up there. I looked at different prices for a pre-built shed and pretty much what I'm looking for would run roughly $7,000. I believe that's with um, steel siding, steel roof, a couple windows, doors, and a little bit of a porch. So yeah, $7,000. Now that's not insulated, uh, it's not with wiring run or anything like that. I'd still have to do that. But for a shell, 7000 I looked up a kit on Menards, and it was going to be $7,000 not being built. This is $7,000 just for the materials. And I was like, yeah, no thanks, not going to go that route. That's actually what we did. The pole barn right here, and I think that kit was like $20,000. But that was $20,000 six years ago. So... I think prices have drastically changed, especially with COVID. And of course, you know, the housing market out here has gone up. So from what I hear, prices of building materials has also gone up. That's a big problem for me. <laughs> Option number three that Eric suggested and you guys suggested too was a shipping container. <sighs> After you get the studs in and the insulation and all of that stuff, you'd probably be looking at about seven usable feet on the inside. It's not very big compared to like, you know, a pre-built cabinet 10 feet. Yeah. Now the upside is it'd be about $1,800. I don't know, delivery maybe $400. But still, it's a lot cheaper for a shell than $7,000. <sighs> the downside is uh, we'd have to cut it apart and put everything in that I wanted. From a writing standpoint, it would be the perfect place because it is gorgeous up there. I mean, it is, if I want like a little writer's nook, that's the perfect place. So it's multi-purpose video editing, schooling room for my son, plus writer's nook. So it kind of needs to be not too far from the house because I, we got to run electricity out there. But two, I want enough peace in separation from the house that I don't feel like I'm still at home, that I feel like I'm kind of like away, but not quite. You get my drift. Um, so as far as usable space, I mean, technically, I could stick something right here. Technically. I mean, it, it's flat. I just have to put a little bit more gravel down because you usually want a gravel base of some sort. So, I mean, the circuit breaker is like right there. So we could just run it right underground. Bloop. To right there. That wouldn't be too bad. Um... The downside of having it right here <laughs> is that I'm still literally going to be right in the middle of chaos on the farm. Uh, I'm going to have the dogs barking right there. I'm going to have whatever chaos out here. Um, if we come around to the front of the property, which I know you're thinking, why don't I just put it where the sugar shack is since we did run electricity to the sugar shack. Like, real electricity, not an extension cord. It's, like, legit. I also realized how easy it is to run electricity. Because <laughs> I helped Eric with it. So, 
I kind of do know how to wire stuff. I know it sounds shocking, right? So I'll show you this. This is our front area. Okay, so we've got the dog fence here. Um, a grassy area where the dogs prefer to poop, which drives me nuts. Because, <laughs> you know, walking through the cars, walking through poop. Um, but I could realistically put something right here. We're not using this, technically. The downside, okay, downside. Um, Aaron would be popping out that slider like every five minutes, most likely. I'd have a nice view of all the vehicles sitting here. Gosh, this thing's gonna have to come down. We'll have a whole video on demolishing the sugar shack. Real quick, I know you guys are asking about this. This is the remains of our sugar shack. It was put up originally as a temporary solution for one year. So for the last three years, we just kept repairing it and putting new tarps up and improving it. So Eric put that up last year. That worked great. <sighs> We want something permanent. Okay, that's just, that's the end of it. We just want something permanent, not something temporary. Okay, let's be realistic. I could stick my house cabin here if I really wanted to because we do not have any definitive plans on building a house. It could be another 10 years before we get a house out here. So, realistically, I could put my office out here. And if I suck it right here on the other side of the sugar shack. So we're going to miss the rainbow that was popping out right here, but right here was the most beautiful double rainbow. And every year about this time, there's always rainbows that pop out right over here. Well, this would be the view out the side window of my office. And of course, this would be the view out the back. It's absolutely breathtaking. And of course, this would be the view out the front, front door. Still just beautiful. Poppers, you cannot go with mom. Eating the bell does not make me let you outside. Come on, poppers. Mom's gotta go catch some deer. You gotta stay here. Come on, poppers. No, you can't come with me. Poppers. Deer don't like doggies. Can't leave poppers. Yeah.